and welcome to this is not that type of video i realized that in order to connect with you guys my audience i need to introduce myself a little bit better hence this video what better way for you guys to get to know me than for me to suggest 11 games that i would buy on the steam summer sale currently running if I didn't already own them. So this is basically just a suggestion of games that I think everyone should play. Not all of them are good. No, scratch that. All of them are good. Some of them might not be to your tastes, but they're all worth checking out. So without further ado, here are the 11 games I'd buy on the Steam Summer Sale. Doom. Why Doom? Hell, I'll give you three reasons. The gameplay is fast, frenetic, and fun as hell. The story doesn't matter the way it should. The glory kills are a treat and never get old. And of course, that soundtrack by Mick Gordon. <laughs> Wolfenstein, The New Order. With Wolfenstein 2 on the horizon, there's no better time to jump in and prepare yourself. A fantastic reimagining of a classic, Machine Games knocked it out of the park with this one. There are more Nazis to kill than you can shake a stick at, Jewish science magic, and dual wielding automatic shotguns. Stealth is sometimes an option, but why would you go that way? BJ is death incarnate. Endless Legend one of the most stunningly beautiful 4X games out there, Endless Legend blends fantasy and science fiction to create a rich world for you to explore, expand into, exploit, and strange enemies to exterminate. See what I did there? And it even includes some RPG elements with a hero that can lead your army across the map. You can lose hours to this one with the old 4X mantra, just one more turn. XCOM 2 Firaxis brought a PC classic back in 2012 with XCOM Enemy Unknown, and improved upon it for the sequel XCOM 2, in which canonically, XCOM lost the war against the aliens, because we all know you never finished that game, and all that stands now against the alien menace is a guerrilla style resistance. With Steam Workshop integration for easy modding, including the massive Long War 2 mod, Prepare to lose several soldiers and hours. Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt Look, I shouldn't need to convince you to play Witcher 3 if you haven't already. It is the new gold standard for open world RPGs. Fantastic story, exceptional questing, and a fully realized world. And that's before you get to the expansions. Not gonna lie, I shed a tear at the end of Blood and Wine. Mad Max. Sometimes you just want a decent open world game to burn time in that runs like butter. Mad Max is that game. It also helps that the main thrust of the game is to build up your car into an unstoppable murder machine to cross the desert killing raiders in your way. Bring the gasoline and light the fires. The world's gone mad. Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. What do you get when you take the Far Cry formula which I find quite fun, and infuse it with every schlocky 80s action stereotype you can think of. You get Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. You are Rex Power Colt, voiced by the indomitable Michael Bean, and your quest is to liberate the island from cyber terrorists. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Yes, I know Revengeance isn't a word, but have you ever wondered what would happen if Hideo Kojima was working with Platinum Games? Well, this is it. Platinum delivers overblown balls-to-the-wall action like only they can. Lightning-fast combat, a silly AF story, and good old Raiden trying so hard to be badass. He even never looks at explosions. It's fantastic. Enter the Gungeon, when a roguelite meets bullet hell. With a fantastic art style, great music, and rock solid mechanics, and oh so many gun based puns. Can you make it to the end of the gungeon? Can you claim the gun that can kill the past? Broforce. 
Broforce is co-op madness with all the freedom and testosterone you could ever handle. Fully destructible environments and a killer power metal soundtrack. Grab some bros, bro it up, and kill Satan. Also, every character's name has been broed to avoid copyright infringement. Like Brominator, Brobocop, and Mr. Anderbro. Each bro has its own special abilities, which makes unlocking them all that much more fun. And finally, Pony Island. Pony Island is one of the weirdest puzzle games I've ever played. It's got a great meta-narrative for a game that's ostensibly a free runner with a pony. Look, I can't spoil anything, but all I can tell you is nothing as what it seems. And with this being the cheapest game on this list, I sincerely urge you to give it a shot. And there they are. The 11 games that I'd buy on the Steam Summer Sale. So go ahead, go check them out. Links to all of their store pages can be found in the description below. And please remember to like and subscribe. And tune in this Wednesday for episode 2 of the Great Stellaris Peace Royale. And of course, new episodes of Escape from Mount Backlog every Friday.